Hello and welcome to Megger's Technical Support Videos, where today we will be discussing the Power Factor Form 93500, Bushing C1 and C2 tests. The first step is to open up the appropriate PowerDB software, in this case PowerDB Lite version 11.2.9. Once the PowerDB software is opened, you can select your instrument from the list. The Delta 4, we will be using the Delta 4000 Power Factor test set using the Power Factor 2 winding transformers 93500 form. From here in the top, we have our header information followed by our nameplate information and then our tests. So we have our selected tests. C1 and C2 are not selected, so we will select the C Bushing C1 and Bushing C2 tests. And now down below, we have our C1 Bushing tests. And because we are in a delta Y vector diagram, we have H1 H2 and H3, X1, X2, X3, and X0. Since there is no neutral on the delta, we have no tests to per be performed there. And the same can be said with the C2 test as well. Notice that the test modes are different. Here we have the UST, or ungrounded specimen test. And down on our C2, we have our grounded specimen test uh, guarding the red and blue leads. Now it is important to remember uh, that the correction factors do need information and for the bushings that would be the oil temperature so let's assume 30 degrees C ambient temperature let's assume 20 degrees C and then the third is the bushing type so if we choose bushing type. Now if we scroll down, we can see that we do indeed have a correction factor for our H bushings. And if we were to change for our X bushings to a different class, scroll back down, we notice that we have a different correction factor here. There is a hookup diagram for the C1 test as well. So if we were curious, we can hit the hookup diagram and now we can see we are applying voltage on the high side bushing, measuring from the C1 tap and grounding based on the transformer ground. And if we want to also, just as we do uh, have the ability to run the narrow band DFR in the transformer tests, we do in the bushing tests as well. So here we are able to perform the narrow band D DFR if selected. You can see the difference. If we go into simulation mode. We put just one kV test voltage. You can see the frequency sweep with the 60 hertz being done down bottom. And again with the hookup diagram. And the same can go for the C2, except for it's just your 60 hertz measurement. Thanks for watching this installment of Megger's technical support videos. And tune in to some of our other videos for more information.